So here I am in the backyard again. I have the Easy Up 2019. This is the same model I had last year, but I have a different shelter, a different top. The last one got bent, and so I ordered a new one. And I believe this one's the Vista. It's the same tent, but I was just gonna go over some more uh, details. Got the uh, doormat in. The only thing I don't really have out is the ground, call, ground cover, ground cloth. Got the windows up right now. I have the doggy door closed. And one thing I noticed on the Vista is when I set it up, if I went one more notch, it was too tall and it was stretching the material way too tight. So I just went to the first notch and that uh, made everything nice and tight. I don't have it staked down right now. I did read that ratchet straps work pretty well to make it more secure, ratchet straps. So I don't have it staked down or the ground cover. Ground cover. Here's my partner. And let's just go ahead and get this thing open. get in there she goes and the straps can be secured back right here it does have internal zippers so as I step in it's already warm in here so I'm gonna go ahead and open some windows it's probably 56 degrees outside right now and uh, a couple of more you can see everything can be done one-handed Kind of a silver materi uh, material. It does seem to radiate heat pretty well. There we go. And a couple of things I'll pit point out right away is uh, there are screens internal that will open up, and this whole bottom will unzip. The whole section will unzip completely. So you can load all your gear in through one big door. So what do I have here? Um, I have a little ceiling fan, and you can see there's an open mesh area here to allow venting, and it goes to the sides, which are open. Uh, I think they call that the uh, gear loft. Maybe not. Those are just hangers. That's the gear loft up here. They just snap in place. Okay, next. And I did pull this over to the corner and it did fit just fine. It didn't interfere so I could get actually three of those, one for each corner, and then I'll have a gear locked. So I'll have uh, plenty of storage, I think. Uh, I have the disc beds. I got these from Costco. And the good thing about Costco is I got them, uh, it's like $70 off, but it comes with these uh, organizers and they just Velcro on. And it also comes with a leg extension, so if you want to run it a little higher, you can give yourself a little more headroom. It seems very stable right now. We do have them secured with these straps on both ends, but with the higher um, extension legs, which actually adds another 7-8 inches, uh, it's not quite as steady as you would think. Just a little bit. But uh, with that in mind, I just left them alone. It's plenty of room. We might try it later on. They're plenty wide. These are the XLs. So two big boys, you fit in fine. I did bring up my big buddy heater, uh, and I do have a carbon monoxide detector right there. Looks nice. Um, I would not run this sleeping alone at night or uh, sleeping at all because it is an open flame with a little pilot light down there. But if you do need to bring it up by uh, the temperature, it is really nice. And then I just brought another cot out. This will be for a small kid right here. So what do we have here? We have the, this is the uh, 10 by 10 angled leg uh, easy up camping cube. So it's a little wider at the bottom than at the top. But as you can see, I could fit two of these in here, sleep four, and have room for bags. We've got a little bit of extra space down here. I could sleep four with bags, no problem. If they were all flat on the floor, I couldn't do that. 
but with the cots I can. Uh, one of the upgrades I'll be doing this summer is down there off the, uh, let me just bring it around, is right here, I was going to put an air conditioner vent in. And uh, the Climate Rights has the AC, it's 5,000 heat pump, so it does AC and uh, warm. And I could run two, two hoses, one in and one out. I really only need one in because you can see I have plenty of out ventilation. So I could maybe just run one heat in. I'm sorry, one cool air in. And it also serves as a heat pump. So that's an option uh, I'll think about doing this year. So tell me what you think. Um, we went camping a couple of times in it last year and it's great. I love the headroom. I'm six foot two. And uh, I probably have another four inches or well, another three inches for sure up here, up space. Um, it's a little big, little bit bigger. The tent itself, this part weighs about 30 pounds in the bag. And the uh, outside uh, structure is another 30 pounds. And it does come with some nice bags. So it basically you can get it down to two bags. I think the uh, structure in its bag is about 48 inches long. So you could actually put it on a cargo carrier on the top if you needed to. It'd be fine. And you can see it. I'm moving it around a little bit and it's it's moving somewhat, but it's it's fine. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me give a, another outside view here. Give it a wide shot. There we go. Pretty cool. Kids love it. Just absolutely love it. They feel like it's a small house. I'll give you a shot on the top. You know, a shot on the back. There we go. I'll go ahead and zip the bottom, give you a full view on the bottom. I'm going to hold this for just a second. There we go. I think if I staked it down, it would be easier to end up these one-handed. So this is a nice feature right here. You see the whole thing just opens up. So when you're first getting set up in camp, nothing like it. Nothing like it. That is cool. So check in later, and we'll see if we get the AC running. Maybe a second disc bed. And uh, these disc beds I got at Costco. I call it disco bed. Disco bed. Extra large. All right. Have a great day.